Hi, this is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy, and today I just want to briefly talk about routine. So if you're like me, then a routine might feel about as appealing as a wet bread sandwich. Um, I tend to really avoid routines <laughs> to the best of, um, if I really have a choice, most of the time I, I find um, just the constant doing something over and over again. Uh, I enjoy, I'm a person who enjoys variety, so I find doing something over and over again kind of really can just like steal my soul. But that being said, uh, I actually um, found that a morning routine, um, and because I don't like routines, I kind of like to give it a little flexibility, but it's, it's really powerful. So when you want to create your life or you want to shift into a limitless perspective, it often comes... Um, you often need to set your energy up for the day. And successful people tend to have a routine. And so I know that when I started um, manifesting um, my relationship, I, before I started, <laughs> I remember I had my eye on everything that my husband was doing that I didn't like. And everything that could be okay uh, if he'd just do it differently. And all the things that weren't the way I thought they should be. And then all the feelings that I had about that. And so as you can imagine, all that focus on all the negative, I got a lot more negative. And so manifesting a better relationship, it wasn't really about getting him, making him do something different. It was really about recognizing the lens through which I'm seeing him and also like noticing all the feelings and basically what beliefs they were telling me that I was carrying. And so I was experiencing the world through this identity of dissatisfaction and I really needed to shift my mindset and my energy and my focus. I had to really see the world through different lenses. I had to be able to see um, where my value in the relationship was and just my own personal value, but then also um, see, see myself that way through through his eyes, if that makes sense. And so by focusing on everything that was wrong, really all I was creating was a lot more wrong stuff and then a lot more um, beliefs about why it was wrong and then if he loved me and blah, blah, blah. And so that really wasn't creating anything that I wanted. So I had to be, um, in order to make these shifts, I actually implemented a routine and it was quite flexible, but it gave me an opportunity to really track my energy and to really track where it's working for me and where it's not so that I can um, make changes in those areas. Um, because manifesting is not about getting something, it's about becoming someone, becoming the person that has this, right? So as Neville said, you disengage yourself from this whole vast belief that you formerly entertain and hold in your imagination to the concept that you are the man or woman that you want to be. So this, he's not telling us just to think it, he's telling us to become it, right? So in order to do this, I really needed to start my day off. How would I feel as this person? And so uh, a lot of mindset work can really be made easier when you start to shift your, ener your energy because your emotions operate like as an anchor point So uh, for your beliefs. And so even if you change the cognitive messages, um, if you're still holding on to this emo what um, in psych psychology, <laughs> they call it um, emotional logic. So if you're hanging on to this emotional logic, then each time your body um, uh, is triggered and receives this feeling, your brain is going to give it a meaning. And so then in order to use a lot of thought-based therapy, we then need to um, have awareness, have a lot of willpower so that we don't get sucked into this. Um, and um, there's four steps. And so I'm not going to get into those because that's what, what this is about. This is about um, making it easier because actually wherever your emotional set point is um, will really contribute to whatever meaning you're giving something. So uh, you can look back at a memory and if you are in a low place, when you look at that memory, you're going to look at it from a perspective of like negative meanings. And if you are in a really high vibrational state when you think of the memory, um, you will maybe see it as a learning experience or you will see it um, sort of as a, a 
disguised win or or whatever, but you're not going to see it the same way based on whatever emotions it is that you're holding. So today's tip is that if you want to start seeing the world through new lenses, um, design and implement a daily ritual that really shifts your energy um, in the in the morning. And the benefit is, which is why I stick to my routine, even though, like I said, I don't love them, <laughs> but I stick to it because uh, and our, having a routine and then actually carrying it out um, consistently actually allows you more access to uh, your prefrontal cortex. So you're operating more from a conscious space of decision making as opposed to your unconscious um, reactive space. And so uh, another thing is that you actually shift into a person who is committing to themselves. So if you uh, recognize kind of what your specific routine needs to look like in order to create the energy that you need um, and you stick to that, then that is basically um, kind of creating confidence in yourself. Uh, and so you're increasing your confidence, but it actually, um, it's a commitment to yourself. Basically, I am, I am worthy enough or I love myself enough to make this commitment to uh, improve my life rather than sleeping in that extra like 10 or 20 minutes, which is always my, my reason. I'm not really a morning person, but I will specifically get up in order to set my day. And you will really notice that just that those extra few minutes to set yourself into powerful energy will shift your day and it will make you more resilient so that you can actually create on during more difficult days. So I would love to know your opinion about routines. Um, do you have a morning routine? Do you have an afternoon routine, evening routine? Um, and has your routine helped shift your life in any way? Um, do you notice a difference in your mindset? Um, yeah, I, so I would really love to know your take on routines um, and whether you use them. Do you see the value in them? And uh, yeah, if you just want to leave those in the comments, I am looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great Tuesday.